Okay, it's Hugh Mackey from Fight Few 316 here with Gary Colling. You got your second professional fight. Uh, you got a few rounds under the belt. How did it go for you? Yeah, great. Um, I felt better in there this time because, not that I felt better, but I got a few more rounds under the belt. Um, the first guy, obviously, 40 seconds in my body shot, and that was it. I knew Josh Thorne was a bit tougher. He's been in with Joe Cardina and Robbie Davis, so he's, he's a tough guy, so I knew I would have had to break him down before I actually stopped him. Yeah. But it felt better in there because I, I got to relax, drop my hands, let off shots. I feel good. I like to entertain a crowd and look good rather than just get in and I don't like just knocking people out. Knockouts come obviously, yeah. but uh, I think breaking people down felt good. I felt like I looked good in there, so that's the thing. In the third round, you were turning on your hands. Who, anyway, did you have a feeling that it was going to end soon? I felt after the first round, um, he came out kind of marked up after the first round, and um, he had Vaseline all over his face in the second round. I was going to say he's a ref. Just a bit much fuzzy now, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna just sliding off, but halfway through the second round, then I start hitting him a couple of shots and I hit him a flash left hand and he dropped. Then he got back up and I hit him a big left hand after that and his head went back. I thought the ref was gonna stop it there. I stepped back and he didn't. And then I knew then he was gone because when I stepped up to go for the third round, it took him maybe 10, 15 seconds to score him in front of him. I didn't know if he was gonna come out. So then I knew when he came out for the third round, his face given up there. He gave it a go for about 15, 20 seconds, came forward and then and once you start hitting to the body, then you don't want to know. And uh, you're still with Davy Oliver Joyce, he's looking to be fast tracked. Are you, are you thinking the same thing? Um, or are you just happy to take it? I have time on my hands, but I feel like I'm on the top level already. I feel like I have the amateur pedigree there. Yeah. I don't need to be I don't need to be pulled back, but at the same time, we're, I'm 21 years of age, whereas Davy's 10 years older than me, at 31. So sure. Davy's to be trying to get to it soon, whereas. So it's what's coming from me, obviously boxers, as a boxer point of view, you'll never turn in a fight. I was just talking to a guy in there earlier. He said like if, if a boxer's offered a fight, if I'm offered a fight with a world champion, the boxers themselves will never turn it down. So sure. you need a good management team, good coaches to help you along and put the right fights you. There's top ten lads there, you don't have to fight every one of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can you need to be helped along, and that's why my management career is there, so MTK look after the fighting season and I'll just worry about what I do in the ring. And when are you back next back out in the ring? I'm back out in the front of the car now in four weeks. Okay, and have you got an opponent in the end? I haven't got an opponent yet, but um, I'll just take take the weekend off now. A uh, couple of swimming sessions, late sessions next week, and back in the camp then for four hard weeks and try and up the performance again for that front of show. Maybe get, hopefully get out in December again and then have a nice Christmas. Are you uh, looking to sort of step it up again then? With a, uh, I want to step up. Every time I get into the ring I want to show sure. for opponents because if you're fighting the same level, the guy's training is going to get boring, you're not going to push yourself. So the first guy, I was in my debut, I had myself pumped up for it. And then this fight, I knew it was a step up an opponent. I said to one of the guys earlier on, this is, I boxed in the European final in 2013, European youth when I won gold. Today was the most nervous I've been since since that fight. Okay. I've fought in seniors, I've fought in world championships, everything. Today was the most most nerve, more nerve wracking than my debut. Um, because it was such a big build. The yeah. first fight was on a small hall, just walking into the arena and stuff, and I was seeing all these seats and stuff. It was nerve wracking, but it was good at the same time. It was yeah. good nerves, you know what I mean? So, That's also experience as well. Great experience, great experience. And, like I was saying earlier on, if you walked into that arena earlier on and it was full, yeah. some guys would crumble. Like, whereas I would have rather be later on the show because I feel like the bigger the crowd and the more people that's there, the better I'm going to perform. Hearing the crowd there, the, the crowd that I brought up yeah. today, that got me going to drop my hands and impress them. But if there was a big crowd out there, I feel like I would have been even better. Obviously, I knew sure. the big ones, Eddie Hearn and stuff, was watching. So yeah. I wanted to impress anyway. But the bigger the crowd, I feel like the better I would come. But you didn't mind going out first anyway? No, it's out of the way though, I get to enjoy, get the, to enjoy the night now. And it, the only thing that bothered me earlier on, when I got to the thing, I was saying all week I wanted to impress Eddie Hearn, because it's such a big show, and he's staying in our hotel, and he put up an Instagram story earlier on, training in the gym, and I replied to story saying, I'm on first 5pm, I know you mightn't have got down, but get down and watch me, I want to impress you. When I got out of the ring, Eddie was sitting in the front row saying, I got your Instagram, <laughs> very good performance, so, so I was happy with that, yeah. Well, you're making an impact anyway. Yeah, I'm looking to make statements every time we get into the ring, so I feel like I'm playing with the ladder on. Yeah, Taking up for sales. We we'll look forward to seeing you again. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks a lot, lads. Cheers.